Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo, Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series, going down in four weeks at the heart of San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion. Right next to me, we have Jeremy Exquota, officially signed today. We'll be competing on our upcoming event, making his professional debut. Long, long, long overdue waiting. Uh, so today we are at the powerhouse, um, Redwood City. And uh, inside the powerhouse, we have a Exquota Martial Art. That's what Jeremy's trained at. So now, Jeremy, let's talk a little bit about this academy. How long has been around? And, uh, a little bit of history about your dad. Your pop was a Taekwondo black belt. You a Taekwondo black belt. Yeah. What's going down with this place? Yeah. So actually, this is the uh, new location of Powerhouse Gym. They were actually across the street, and that's when I started about over ten years ago now. Uh -huh. um, it, that's where I started uh, training for Taekwondo. I actually um, won my uh, world title. Um, at 17 years old, training out of the old powerhouse gym across the street. Um, that's for Taekwondo. That's pretty um, awesome. And then, you know, when they moved over here, um, we also, my dad moved the school to martial arts over here as well. And uh, yeah, been training here ever since, about 16 years old, and yeah, haven't stopped. Now, and you are a Taekwondo black belt, and I'm assuming you know how to kick, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if anybody's watched my fights, you guys know that. Well, you know I know how to kick. <laughs> yes, you know how to kick and flipping kicks and oh, also yeah. um, stand up with your expertise. Yes, sir. Now, on this upcoming mm -hmm. fight, you're fighting Christopher Fernandez that I want to try to match you guys up, but due to some physical problems and you couldn't make it to the last event, this one solid, finally get your pro debut, yes, and you haven't fought for like a year? Yeah, it's been a little over a year, so last August was my, uh, oh, my wow. last fight That's a year and it was a uh, it was a wild one. It was <laughs> a wild one. Yes, yes, yes. Now I know we've been talking back and forth. You know that weight class that you want to fight. You know, thirty five and twenty five. And I know you don't really cut much weight. And what do you walk around weight right now? You so actually, weight. yeah, actually, right now I'm about five ten pounds away from one thirty five. Mm -hmm. So. You know, when I'm out of camp, I try to walk around around 150. Not so you trying heavy. to gain some weight, or yeah, you to definitely, definitely trying to put on a little muscle, get gain a little power, you know. Um, but if I am gonna fight at 125, then I'll probably walk around a little bit lighter, 145 or so. Right. Try to make a, about 20 pound cut. Is that's gonna be your your main goal in the future to make the 125? I would like to stay at 135 because it's a comfortable weight class for me, comfortable weight cut, um, but. You know, the 125 is definitely doable. If, uh, if there's a big fight for me and big opportunities at 125, then I would be more than willing to uh, definitely make that weight cut. Sure. Now, let's talk a little bit. It's hard to catch you on the, on the, on the interview. I know you yeah. don't like to do interview. This is finally the first time I can catch you on the interview now. Yes, sir. What do you think of uh, Christopher Fernandez? I know he's a banger. Yeah, he definitely is a banger. You know, scrappy dude, uh, fellow Filipino. Uh, but that, that's he, right. I don't even think about that. Yeah. Both you guys are Filipino. Yes, sir. But there's only one room for the Filipinos out here, so <laughs> saying, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, but you know, I'm gonna show them who real big brother is. <laughs> now, this fight, I am assume it's gonna be a stand-up war. Oh yeah. Um, I don't see you take him to the ground, and I don't think he will take you to the ground. Uh, it's a perfect uh, scenario to showcase a two strikers that going at it. Yeah. How do you see these fights is gonna go down and what do you see yourself on a striking you have the advantage on him? Yeah. Definitely with the striking, you know, as we said before, being a Taekwondo black belt and kicking my whole life, I definitely feel like um, at that range I'll have the advantage for sure. Um, and like you said, it's definitely gonna be a bang and fireworks from start to finish. Uh, but wherever the fight goes, I'm comfortable. Whether we're standing up striking or whether we go down to the mat grappling, I feel like I'm gonna be the stronger guy, I'm gonna have the advantage either way. So, you know, wherever the fight goes, I can definitely see the opportunity for a finish. Now, I know Christopher has probably cut a little bit more weight than you. Do you think he has a little size advantage? Honestly, I think height-wise, I'm probably just as tall as him, if not a little bit taller. He might be um, a little bit thicker, but um, in terms of range and height, I think I have a B. Um, yeah, and honestly, with his with his thickness, with his size, and his power, I think uh, we're pretty even. You know, I've been uh, 
hitting the hitting training really hard, working out really hard as always. And you know, I've been getting stronger and stronger as the weeks go by. So even though my weight's going down, I'm still pushing the same amount of weight. So even yeah. if not more. No, I mean I know you guys are located inside a powerhouse gym, so I'm assuming every day you're gonna hit some dumbbells, right? Oh yeah, doing uh, weight training. Actually, no, not too much dumbbells. A lot of banded stuff, a lot of med ball stuff, um, earthquake bar work, a lot of earthquake bar work. Yeah. Let's educate us. What's what's earthquake back what the bar work? So actually, we do a lot of zercher squats from holding the bar right here. Um, a lot of presses with the earthquake bar, and what it is is you have uh, resistance bands on each side with weight, and it really helps with your stability. So you get that shake, and you have to learn how to control that. Lately. You know, instead of doing just straight zercher squats, because I've been really strong with that, we've progressed to uh, elevated uh, like lunges, split squats, and I've been getting really strong with that too. So yeah, I feel like um, you know, even though he he does cut a little bit more weight than me, that might drain him a little bit more. I know he's fought at 145. Um, he might have a little bit more thickness, but yeah, I think uh, strength wise, we'll, we'll be pretty even. That's pretty awesome. Now this is a crazy. It's gonna be. Coming off a year layoff, um, first fight back, it's gonna be a professional. Now this fight's also gonna be elbows and knee allowed to the fade. That's gonna change in a big factor from amateur to professional. Also, it's gonna be three five minute rounds. Yes. Now how that's gonna play out? What how do you do differently on your conditioning? Well, like you said, with the three five minute rounds, now instead of the three threes, been training for the three fives been really hitting the uh, endurance work hard, the training my energy system for those five minute rounds. Um, yeah, and I've been feeling really good, feeling conditioned, feeling ready for those fives. So I'm ready to go the distance, you know, obviously always looking for a finish. Yes. Never want to leave it in the hands of the judges, but. You never know sometime when in the judge's hand, you know? Yeah, it's like, so I'm, I'm still undefeated. I'm still undefeated too. I, I'm still, I'm eight no for for your organization. No matter, I don't care what. That was a fluke, that split decision, L, but we're, we're zero and zero now, so we're gonna find out. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty awesome. Now, in a perfect world, after this fight, you're coming off a, a, a W. Who do you have in mind that is in your radar in the future that you want to get some dent with? Um, I feel like, you know, I'm focused on Chris, Chris Fernandez right now. I don't want to overlook him. You know, definitely not underestimating him at all. Um, like you said, he, it's going to be a banger. Um, he's scrappy. Um, and yeah, like I said, you know, focus on this fight. And after this, we'll see, we'll see what happens, you know. And not, no one in particular that I... I'm focused on or anything like that, but you know, whoever the next guy is, I'll be ready for him. That's pretty awesome. And don't forget everyone, the next event's gonna be March 16, 2024. We're going back to Cal Palace. Another yeah. big event, we're gonna pack that house and then making sure all the fighters stay tuned. Anyone wanna get on my March 16, I will start working on that bike car as soon as after this one is done. So DM me. And do not forget, we have submission grappling only, kids, and adults, November 19, after the event, November 11. So all the people, kids, don't please sign up on the dragonhousemma.com, get your discount before the 15th of this month. So um, now Jeremy, if people want to get a hold of you to get tickets, come watching you fight, give you some support, how can people contact you? Uh, my handle for Instagram is going to be at Jeremy, G-E-R-E-M-Y, period, E. Um, Jeremy E on Instagram or you know you can uh, give me a call if you have my number also you can uh, contact my, my dad uh, giascolta at gmail.com or or through his number but the best way is gonna be through Instagram definitely um, I'll have tickets here at Powerhouse Gym I'll have tickets in the East Bay at uh, Bay Area Fight Academy um, yeah so you know However, you guys can get a hold of me, get a hold of me, get your tickets ASAP. Don't be hitting me up uh, last, last week when I'm cutting weight, please. <laughs> now, do you have any sponsor, sponsor, supporter, uh, coaches, training partners that you want to shout out to? Man, I got a huge list. So obviously, first of all, you know, I got to shout out my parents, Greg and Maria Skolta. My mom, she's like my nutritionist, my uh, personal chef. She, yeah. Oh yeah, man, she makes, she hooks it up. She cooks, you know, really clean, good meals for me. Make sure I get on weight. That's why my weight stays so good. Thank you, mom. Uh, thank you, dad, uh, too, uh, for all the support. <laughs> my brother, Gregory, uh, all my family, you know, the Escolta family, uh, all the Guerins, you know, everyone. 
Um, got a shout out, a school to martial arts, uh, Powerhouse Gym, Evie JJ, uh, Charles Gracie, Bay Area Fight Academy. Um, got to thank uh, Coach Andre over there, Andre Sukupat, UFC, ex-UFC fighter. Been working with him lately. Um, my strength and conditioning coaches, uh, Gerber Aguilar out of Powerhouse, and um, Sean, uh, Sean Jackson, Elite King Sports. Um, who else am I missing, man? There's Kennel Boxing Gym out in San Leandro. Been, been working on my boxing. As everybody knows, I'm a Taekwondo guy, but you know, I'm ready to get those hands going too. So I'm feeling pretty, you know, well-rounded everywhere. Um, like I said, wherever the fight goes, I'm gonna be ready. Um, Dr. Weber, my dentist. Um, shoot, man, the list goes on and on. I can't, if I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much, pretty much the team. Now, go back to a little question I kind of want to ask you. What do you think of your last fight <laughs> a year ago against James Gagey, right? I thought it was a good fight. I wish the ref would have gave me a warning instead of pulling me right off in the first round for grabbing the cage, because I think I definitely would have got that finish right there in the first round. And I was hungry for that well, finish. You got on the mount or something? Yeah, so I mounted him and I was freaking laying, laying it down, some ground and pound, and you know, he bucked and I just barely put my hand on the cage and the ref was like, oh no, stand up. Yeah, so I didn't get a warning. I wish, you know, next time if that happens, you know, give me a little warning first, because I really, yeah, that first, I, I wanted that finish, man, and I'm still wanting those belts. Where them belts at, boy? God damn, <laughs> you said put up them belts and you don't even want to give them belts up. That's some shicey sh whatever, though. I'm, no, I'm he, over that. He, he's pro. He's 3-0 oh now. Yeah. So uh, you ever think about, like, if you see him run it back again in the pro circuit? Yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, I'll definitely run it back with him. Uh, but, you know, like I said, focus on Chris Fernandez right now. No one else, no other fights on my mind except this one. Don't want to overlook anybody. Um, yes. Christopher is tough, you know. He's, yeah. he's a tough guy. Like, I mean, the guy's been around for a long time. Yeah. And he's very, been very active. And um, definitely, like, I'm really looking forward to have this fight. And, um, you know, in the pro card, it's a huge stack card of keys on November 11. Making sure all the people shows up. Uh, door opens at 3. First pro, uh, amateur fights at 4. Pro card kicks off at 6.30. Uh, so, you know, you Jeremy's, we have eight professional fight Jeremy's in the middle. So you're looking at about 7.30-ish, you know, this cool. fight is going to happen. So uh, uh -huh. making sure you guys showed up, you know, yeah. prepare for the pro card, you know. Um, this is going to be awesome, man. Um, now, if Christopher Fernandez watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Let's put on a show, man. Let's put on a show. I'm excited, you know. It's going to be a banger. And, yeah, let's uh, give the fans what they're looking for. That's pretty awesome. Now, a personal question, what do you do for work, Jeremy? I do personal training, so basically, you know, mobily, wherever my clients are, I'll drive to them, and uh, yeah, personal training, whether it's martial arts or fitness, um, yeah, training here too, you know, some people training a little bit out of Powerhouse Gym here, um, also training some people out of Bay Area Fight Academy as well, That's so yeah, so in, you know, in between my training times, I'm usually uh, training one of my clients, and then, you know, getting my night sessions in too. That's, that's your full-time job? Yeah, yeah. Well, I would say, you know, part-time. My full-time thing is, you know, MMA, training right. for fighting. Uh, and then when I have time to train people, get a little extra cash in the pocket, yeah, then I'll train some people. Well, this is a big moment, and it's every professional fighter that biggest moment at the making a professional debut. Yeah. I know Christopher is coming off of 0 one time, but he's really hungry. And uh, you know, this fight's supposed to happen on my last event. It didn't happen, but now this one, it's going down. It's going Four down. weeks out. I can't wait to watch all these upcoming events. So making sure all you guys stay tuned. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Show me some love and support. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Dragon House. And then um, I'll see you guys November 11. Any last words? Woo! Say that, Let's go, baby. Fight time. I'm ready. All right, I'm Jung Lo signing out. Ah.